Okay, our third example here in box H, because you're unit 1213 still. Um, let's read the question. Iris sells magazine subscriptions over the phone. She has paid a basic wage for each evening she works, plus a bonus depending on the number of subscriptions she sells. Iris earned $60 when she sold five subscriptions. She earned $80 when she sold 15 subscriptions. Okay, so they're giving us some information here in words, and the first thing they're asking us to do is complete the table. Well, let's just look at the information that we're given here. You're told that she earned $60 when she sold five subscriptions. So five subscriptions here, let's put in her earnings of $60. Similarly, she sold 15, she earned $80. So we can fill in 80 here. Now, we don't yet have enough information to finish the rest of the table, okay? But let's read carefully what they've told us here. Sells magazine subscriptions over the phone. She has paid a basic wage for each evening she works, plus a bonus depending on the number of subscriptions she sells. So what we have here is we have a linear relationship. The basic wage is our part that is fixed, okay, the fixed cost or the fixed fee or the flat rate, the flat fee, and something that depends on the number of subscriptions that she sells. So this is our rate portion or our variable cost. So if this is a linear relationship, well, that's what we know. That's sort of what we can conclude from reading this very carefully, is that it's a linear relationship. How does that help us? Well, we know from way back in 9.10 that if we're going to do a linear relationship, that sort of the, the number of subscriptions, our x variable, is going to have to increase by the same amount each time, and our earnings are going to have to go up by the same amount each time. So let's fill in this table here if we make number of subscriptions go up by the same amount each time. So we can go 5, we can go 10, so 5, 10, 15. This has to be 0 up here. Okay. So if our earnings are going to go up by the same amount for each row in this table, we can sort of see that we have to have $70 here for, er for earnings when she sells 10 subscriptions because this will make this go up by... 10 and 10. And if it's going up by 10 from the first row to the second row, then her earnings when she sells zero subscriptions must be 50. So just filling in this table, we sort of answered part B here. How much does she earn for each subscription sold? Well, let's see. She earns $10, okay? Her earnings go up by $10 every time her subscriptions go up by 5. So she earns $10 for 5 subscriptions. And I'll just put sub subscriptions. $10 for 5. How much does she earn for each one? Well, $10 divided by 5 is going to give us $2 for each one. So we can say $2 each. What is her basic wage for each evening work? Well, this is the, the amount that she gets if she sells no subscriptions. That's just the first row of our table here. She gets $50. Okay. So now we can take this information and put it together into an equation. We have got our rate here is $2 each, okay? This $50 is the sort of the flat fee, or the fixed portion, okay? We know our equation here is going to be, have the form y equals mx plus b, but instead of y and x, we are going to have Let's see, what are we looking at here? Let's look at our table. We've got number of subscriptions and we've got earnings. So we'll say E is earnings. N is number of subscriptions. How are we going to put this together? Well, let's see. E 
is going to equal something times n, okay? That something is our slope or our rate, so $2 for each subscription plus that y-intercept or that fixed portion. So E equals 2n plus 50. And now we've got a couple of questions here where they ask us to use this equation that we've just developed. So how much will Iris earn when she sells 25 subscriptions? Well, 25 subscriptions is a value for n. So let's take our equation here, E equals 2, and we'll substitute 25 for n. And then we'll evaluate. E equals 2 times 25 is 50. 50 plus 50 is going to give us $100. So we're just substituting and evaluating. So she's going to earn $100. And we could sort of check this um, by going back up to the table and thinking, okay, if we go 15, 20, 25, this is going to go 80, 90, 100. How many subscriptions must she sell to earn $200? Again, we can use our equation. E equals 2n plus 50. The number that they're giving us here is $200. Is this a value for E or a value for n? Well, $200 represents her earnings, so they're giving us a value for E. So let's sub E into our equation here. And let's solve for n. Okay, solve in equations. This is back unit 5, 6. We want to subtract 50 from both sides. Okay, we see plus 50, so we do the opposite. We subtract 50. So we're going to have 150 equals 2n. And then to solve for n, we see 2 times n on the uh, right-hand side. So we're going to divide by 2, divide by 2, and we end up with 75 equals n. So how many subscriptions must she sell? She has to sell 75 subscriptions to earn $200.